Hey, welcome to the next video in the series. This one's gonna be pretty short. I just wanted to cover some basic tips for different brushes. And uh, I'm currently sick, a little bit under the weather, so apologies if my voice is a little quieter than usual. So right now, in <clears throat> my server, we're in Intimacy and the Console XP Rush. And um, we've gotten far enough now that Intimacy Rush has Marco Polo as a reward. Looks like you're gonna need to have over 2,000 in order to win him. So keep that in mind if you're trying to aim for mocking him. I also want to mention that they are Consort Still XP and Charm Rush and the Intimacy and Consort Experience Rush that go together. So when you're participating in either of those rushes, <coughs> or you uh, use all your vigor, you're going to want to use your Intimacy. I've already used most of it in this rush, I'm just using it during here. <clears throat> then with all of your uh, intimacy used up, then you can go ahead and, and use all of your bigger hits. So that's the order you want to do it in. <clears throat> Likewise, when you're in the charm rush, you would give them all of your charm before you uh, use all your hourglasses. Because uh, the, more <clears throat> the more charm they have, the more they're going to earn. The feast rush. Um, just be aware that there's different types of feasts, and not all feasts are created equal. Family feasts do not give as many points for attending them compared to Imperial and Kindred feasts. So if you have the choice, try to avoid joining the family feasts and join the Imperial or Kindred ones instead during Feast Rush. Um, that's the Arena Rush. <coughs> you, get, you get these Warpath Surge stacks for finishing missions. You want to use them up every day during the arena rush. Um, if you're not trying to win the arena rush, like if you're planning on saving it, I would just use up your warpath surge stacks and then save the rest of your challenge letters. But if you're trying to win that particular rush, then you can use up all of your challenge letters. Just make sure that you save enough to use up your warpath surge stacks every day, because it doubles your points. Um, saw brush, that's when you want to unbox all of your talent. And your other resources, such as promotion tokens. <clears throat> um, saw rushes are the hardest ones to win, usually. So you have to save a lot if you want to win them. Silver rush. Um, the only way you can spend your silver is if you've got an advisor to promote. That's why I just left her at 370, even though I can still promote her a lot more. I'm waiting until the next Silver Rush comes around to get that silver. Um, soldier Spent Rush. <coughs> this is the only place you can spend soldiers. And um, normally I just attack once. Like here I attack with Kuba and I left it alone. But during the Soldier Rush, I'll try to break through as many of these guys as I can. And I'll use my PvE seals to send Kuba and Kuba on again. So that I can go to the next round and lose even more soldiers. So normally each day I just attack once and I save the rest of my soldiers, but during the rush I attack as many times as I can. I try to progress as far as I can in the rush. Uh, the meat spent rush, usually every day, I just go ahead and upgrade my lowest level village. Like this one, for example. I'll upgrade it five times to spend little. Just to finish the daily quest, but then during the rush, I'll upgrade one of my higher level villages, which takes way more compared to my low level village. And um, as far as some other goals you may have, like for example, trying to gather tomorrow or 10 tokens. Um, gathering tomorrow tokens is a lot easier if you're one of the stronger players in your horde. You'll actually gather more being the strongest player in a really weak horde than you will being a medium strong player in a horde with a lot of other really strong players. There's different ways that you can get demo tokens, but they require cooperation with other hordes in the battle. You can't really do it by yourself. Meanwhile, if you're trying to unlock Ken, you can kind of do that by yourself. <coughs> so your most important resource is your stamina. The other one doesn't matter. This is the important one. It's important because you use it for all the things that get good rewards, like gathering resources and attacking bandits. But one thing I want to mention is that 
attacking bandits anytime. The stronger the bandit is, the, chance, the higher chance it gets some more good tokens. But all bandits, even the weakest ones, can drop for a ward that has a chance to give you 10 tokens. So if you kill about 10 of these little bandits, you'll usually get like one token out of that. It seems to be somewhere between one in every eight or one in every 10 bandits will drop a 10 token. The weakest bandits drop one, the next level up drops two, and the next level up drops three, the next level up drops four, etc. So if you just farm a ton of bandits, you'll get a good chance of getting some 10 tokens. All you have to do is be strong enough to kill the bandit. There are other ways to get tokens too. Like if you rank high enough in the damage rankings for the bandit boss, <coughs> those rankings will give you tokens if you're high enough up. It's really hard to compete with the strongest players though if you're not one of the big spenders, so this is usually impossible to do. Um, just hitting the bandit at all has a chance to give some gem tokens, even if you don't kill them. So make sure to use up your free hits when you can. Just make sure that you've upgraded your advisors as much as you can with all of the upgrades that you can find before you start hitting the bandit because the stronger you've upgraded them, the more damage you're going to do. Just the little land hall. So this the rewards for this settles twice per day. The next reward settlement is coming in nine hours. You can see the time up there. And when it settles, sorry, that was the wrong place. When it settles, the top five people will get some Ken tokens. <coughs> Excuse me. This is pretty hard to do again if you're not one of the stronger players. So I found overall the best way to harvest Ken tokens is just to hit the bandits. Um, but if you're a really strong player, you could probably uh, you could probably get some extra cam tokens by going up the rankings. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about this video. I just wanted to go over the different rushes. I'm kind of sick right now, so it wouldn't make sense to make a long video. But if you have any questions about winning different rushes or how to go about it, feel free to post a comment and I'll respond when I can. Thanks.